My name is Elijah Navarro, percussion product specialist at the Dario & Company, percussion brands Evans Drumheads, Promark Drumsticks, and Pure Sound Snare Wire. I'm joined today by my good buddy Kenny Sharitz, professional drum tech for big acts like Stevie Wonder, Train, and Rihanna. So what are we talking about today? What are we doing? Well, today I'm going to show you how to clean, install a drum head, and tune it up on this Tom Tom right here, this lovely DW Tom. Awesome. As you can see, we've already removed the head, and we're going to take this moment to clean it gently with a cloth. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing a little wipe at the bearing edge to make sure the dust is gone. You want to get into these little nooks and crannies to make sure you're getting all the dust you can't get, and you're making sure that you keep dust from getting into your swivel nuts. Once we've done that, we want to take this lovely G2, which we're pairing with a clear G1 classic combo. Classic combo. Yeah. Right. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the drum. Now, the beautiful thing about the level 360 heads is that basically all you got to do is line your hoop up and make sure your hoop is centered, which it is, because the level 360s make that possible. Cool. And then we're going to go ahead and drop these into the casings. Let's do it. All right. Two hands, so much faster than one. Now, as, as I always do with drums, I start with the opposing patterns, two birds of a feather flocking together, and you want to finger tighten them down evenly. This sets the hoop and allows you to basically go around the rest of the drum without fear of the hoop sliding. So we follow a radio pattern just like we would tuning. I'm going to go to what I call my two other points, and then we're going to go to the last two points. Now, I pair them a lot of times, but in the traditional sense, we would go with a radial tuning pattern of one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the head goes down in a balanced fashion and it makes it easier for us to keep an even tension on the palate. So now let's pick the drum up and check our tones. Like I like to do, I palm mute it very gently, not pressing too hard, it's a gentle palm mute, and then I tap to check my tones. Right here, this one's a little bit lower than all the others, so I'm just gonna give it a little nudge and then we're gonna go ahead and start the tuning process. Now I like to take the ergonomic Evans key, stick it on there and start at my one point. My one point, to my two point, to my three point, to my four point, to my five point, to my six point. So let's go with half turns. Okay. Now we've done a set of half turns around the drum. Let's see what we got. Again, pick up the drum, palm you gently, and tap your tones. We hear this one's just a hair low. And there we have it. A nice balanced set of one single half turn sets. And this time is ready to basically play or be tuned any way you want. Now when you play the drum, you want to check out what's going on. See the tone first, see where your head's sitting at. Ah, oh, listen to that resonance. Oof. Now that's singing. It's great. At this point in time, it's really up to you to choose where you want to go. Um, once you find a tension you like the tone of, the pitch of, and the feel of with your hands, you basically have the option of either matching that pitch with the bottom head to where they're both even. You could raise the bottom head and pitch a little bit tighter than the top head, or you could lower it. And each has its own unique set of circumstances that are fun to experiment with and allow you to find your sound. So to cover the basics, when changing a tom batter head, we want to remove the lugs. Mm -hmm. We want to clean the bearing edge. Yep. We want to set the head on, set the hoop and tension tension our tension rods down. Finger tight. And Make sure we're nice balanced when you start with a balanced palette. And from then cool. on, sky's the limit. It's really what you want and what sound you want. Awesome, man. Sounds great, brother. Thanks, Kenny. Appreciate it, man. You're welcome, bro.